We can simply hide and show game object using Unity UI toggle as shown in the link in the description below. However, sometimes we need to pass the toggle value as a Boolean variable in C-sharp um, and, and also, for example, to change the text uh, based on the toggle value. So I have a C-sharp script file and I'll put a GitHub link to that code in the description. And I have here a, a method and uh, I called it on toggle change and it, it has a Boolean as parameter. And there was a way where we could uh, link the toggle so that it passed this Boolean if we link it to this method. So to achieve that, I'll go back to the editor. Inside the editor, there is a toggle uh, game object over here. And I also have a text game object that I will change based on the toggle value. So to achieve that, uh, I will select the toggle and then I have this uh, C-sharp uh, file over here. The link to GitHub would be in the description and I linked it to this game object. I just attached it to this game object. So I'll select the toggle and I'll go on value change boolean event and hit the plus and then drag the game object to which the script is attached this one just drag it here and i'll try to access the script which is linked to toggle and the most important thing here is to ensure because there are two sections one is dynamic boolean one is static parameters make sure you select within the dynamic boolean otherwise it will not work so uh, our game uh, our method is called on toggle change so i'll just select that and now if i click play if i untick the toggle the text will change to off and if i tick it it will change to on and so on and so forth so inside the script uh, this is the a boolean that passed from the toggle and we could use the boolean in if statement to change the text. We could also assign the boolean to another boolean variable that we have that I assign here, we, which we could use in uh, different places within our code. Thank you. Please like, subscribe and click the notifications button to help me make more videos like this.